Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Quesat's Head Rack Will and Valeranya in Civ 5 Brave New World. We're working our way towards our science victory with our massively, massively overpopulated cities. It's like the, um, the East Coast well, of China I, here. I'm honestly wondering if you can get Amsterdam over 40. Um, Amsterdam oh, doesn't... Oh yeah, you're still making plus nearly 40 a turn. Amsterdam doesn't have the hospital yet. Yeah, you need to get the hospital. Yeah. I mean, really, we could we could probably have it to 40 by now if we had been sending more trade routes with food to it, but... But you haven't needed to do that. Yeah, no, so... Amsterdam, build build your hospital. Because every one of those uh, points of population is more research. Yeah, this also, is... Also, are you ever going to get some archaeologists to turn those... Uh, I, I will, it's just there's been so many other things, and you have to act... Uh, for people who don't know uh, these, if you want to build landmarks or dig up artifacts from archaeological sites, you have to produce archaeologists. You cannot buy archaeologists. Unlike every other unit in the game, you cannot buy archaeologists. It is a specific uh, thing for them, because otherwise you'd just be able to spam out all the archaeologists and get all the first person to reveal the... Uh, landmark sites. Well, or sorry, are no, but the, the AI the AI doesn't buy units anyway. The AI can't buy civilian units with their cash. They don't. They can't do that anyway. So it's why can't the player do it? Multiplayer games. This As game is not balanced for multiplayer. <laughs> don't. No matter. What I, excuse me. Did you so. just imply that multiplayer was the concern of the Civ Five death? After all our experience concern. over the years with this game. <coughs> anyway. We have enough gold. We we forgot to go. We said uh, we would battle Ormos when we got a thousand. We're well past a thousand now. But allies with Ormos. Let's see now. Antwerp. 144. Ife. Yeah, yeah, we'll 62, but that's highly Slassy, so we don't want to steal it from... Yeah, well, let's see. He's a lower priority target. Antananarivo, 84. We already know Jerusalem, he has a mass. 223 with Bogota, that's not happening. Cape Town, 111. Leventa, 267. Uh, Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, so I was... Uh, well, we can get quite uh, Kuala Lumpur away once we build up enough money there. It'll, uh, it'll take more than a thousand, but if we uh, dump a grand and a half into them, we can get, we can pull them away from Hiawatha, which would be nice. One thing, if you uh, ever r start running out of things to get, you might want to get the Arsenal Freedom or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's always handy. Just to uh, start throwing units at the city states until because that. That can ultimately be cheaper than buying them out. Mm -hmm. Or um, the uh, treaty organization. Often I would find myself, if I'm going freedom, I would just pick up treaty organization anyway, regardless of what type of game I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Because that's just... Uh, treaty organization is a, ten a third tier of freedom tenant that gives you influence for having trade routes with city states. Influence every turn for having trade routes with city states. Which is another reason that Embargo City States is, like, the worst thing that can happen to you. Yeah, well, not the worst, but, yeah, you, you can uh, actually, that's a, you can put a pretty decent little colony city up there. The oil, the crab, you get two fish, you get the little islands. You put a decent enough wee city up there. It could actually be decent. Yeah, no, we will build the seaport. Traders further. Yeah, there's nothing else for you to improve. We've improved all the tiles, the workers. We've built the railroads. Honestly, uh, the only thing left for our workers to do will be as if we discover uranium. Oh, wait, there was one farm down by uh, that one city. Down by oh, Utrecht. yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. One you farm, more food. Yeah, good. Build a you farm. You moved your pikeman there, not a worker. Yeah. Did I? Oh! That's, uh, Just click. 
yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's the city of Utrecht. You're not even going to try, are you? No, Utrecht? Utrecht. Yeah. A better Spanish pronunciation. Then again, I work in a kitchen. I practice it every day. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're up to thirty at happiness now. Research labs. Yeah, you're let's see. Yeah, you don't even have your basic culture buildings up, which needs to happen. Um also needs the hospital, needs the research lab. So many things, so many things we need to build. And yeah. So farm. I forgot to check who their decoration of friendship expired with. I'll have to go round and because uh, declarations of friendship are necessary for signing research agreements. So we absolutely want to keep up for our decorations of friendship, especially now that we have finished rationalism and get extra science from research agreements, and we have the yep. we have the porcelain tower, which, which gives, gives us even, even more science from research agreements. So yeah, we want to do that. Now, you have actually built here most of the buildings you want here. So, yeah, go get the medical lab. We'll do that before getting the, before getting the, uh, start building the archaeologists. Uh, there we go. Allies with Kuala Lumpur. We've got Hiawatha. Now, if we go here, let's see, we can see who's friends with us, and it was America. Our Declaration of Friendship has expired with America. There we go. There we are. Okay, there's our pikeman. Napoleon's getting pretty annoyed at us about Kuala Lumpur, but we're not going to worry about that. He's way over there. We're way over here. Yeah, Napoleon is... Yeah, he's got Hiawatha to worry about. That, well, yeah, but that's assuming the AI will worry about things in an intelligent fashion. Yeah, no, but I mean, he has Hiawatha to worry about. Yeah. And Rotterdam, you can build Yeah, get the museum up. Um, I keep sending it to Amsterdam for the extra food. <laughs> and another great musician. Keep building up. It's, there's no point in spending it on concert tours. It, it's worthless for us to spend them on concert tours. So we'll just keep boosting our culture. Although I think we may have all our opera... Well, let's go back here. But all our opera houses filled. No. Oh, yeah, we do, but uh, we built Broadway, so we have two slots there, and then we have two yep. more opera houses, two built and still. Which, yeah, which will cover us for all our naturally produced great musicians for the rest of the game, so. Well, you also probably want to get the broadcast towers just for the mul uh, the multiplier. Oh, right, yes, broadcast towers also have great works of music as well. I forgot about that. A lot of the time I just end up don't getting to round to building broadcast towers anyway, because... By the, you're hitting the end of the game and yeah. <laughs> finish the research agreement. This this has been um. I'm surprised nobody has even Declared threatened us since we um, fought Washington. Yeah, this has been an incredibly peaceful game. I I I'm quite surprised that Russia didn't get belligerent with us, and we haven't even had to we haven't even had to look at our army for like. Eras. We're no, still running around with crossbows and pikemen and a catapult. We've got a composite over there on a spearman. <laughs> it's it's quite silly. Meanwhile, we're. Uh, Meanwhile, it looks like face. Oda is actually was actually being serious when he talked oh. about invading Catherine. <laughs> it Good looks like he's. We're not going to help him. Yeah. 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 Good luck with that, buddy. Ah, we.
we have finished the research to rocketry, so Amsterdam will now build the Oxford University. I should have paid more attention to that and timed it better. Meanwhile, we will go up here uh, along the top of the tech tree, continue on to talk about physics. Um, so let's. Uh, you gotta make sure it goes in the right order. Sometimes it's worth it to go through the bottom of the tree first if you have a lot of AIs that are giving you grief. Uh, get your military units up to defend yourself while you get towards the science victory, but in this case, no, it's absolutely more worthwhile to go along the top. And so he's finished the farm. We've, we've, our borders have expanded to this aluminium here, so okay. we will grab it. I need to uh, hop off for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Yep. And just, uh, I'll continue on, folks. Um, don't worry. Number of election rigged, good number of election rigged. Vatican City. Okay, all three of the city state elections are rigged. That's um, really, really, really horrible of us if you actually think about what you're doing. <laughs> but that's the case for so much of this game. But. We'll not, we'll not worry, keep on. Keeps us, uh, keeps them voting for us, not Hiawatha. Very handy. I wonder if Japan's actually gonna try and backstab us instead of attacking Russia. Because our army's so weak, he might actually consider it. Let's see, is he? We go to. He's not at war with anybody, and he is friends with us. The only way he's not friends with are Hiawatha and or the Iroquois and Russia. So it's he is more likely to attack them than he is us. But no, well, see, okay, now finish satellites. Okay. And uh, Satellites allows us to try and build the Hubble Space Telescope. Massively powerful endgame wonder. Two free great scientists. Fr uh, a free spaceship factory, which already speeds up the production of spaceship parts massively. And then a further 25% spaceship parts production um, on top of that. So if you're going for a, a science victory, you want this. If you don't have this, you're gonna. it's going to give you a hard time. We've entered the information era, which is the last year in the game, and we found Lake Victoria, and um, so this is uh, right there, apparently. So, uh, Haile Selassie snuck in two cities over here, but the that gets you, once you discover satellites, you can see the entire map. So now we can see the far reaches of Russia, down here, and over here we can see Japan. See Hiawatha just spamming out crap wherever he can squeeze it in, because that's what he does. And we will try to build, we will not try to, we're far ahead. I know we will get the Hubble Space Telescope. Nobody else is even remotely close to being able to build the Hubble Space Telescope. I will, just to speed it up even further, to make it extra ridiculous, I will buy a, uh, with faith, a great engineer finish this very quickly. Now, if we Rotterdam can build uh, you know what, it's about time we got some of these archaeologists out. I am actually long overdue us getting some of these archaeologists out. So we'll have Rotterdam and Boston once it's finished can put out a few as well. Finish with its museum. Museums, it's very important to get museums up if you're going to be sending out a lot of archaeologists because museums are the ones that actually have the slots where you can put artifacts that you dig up. So, yeah, there's Atomic Theory. The World Congress has become the UN, which enables voting for the diplomatic victory, and that's because we entered the information era. We have 
research agreement with Pakal is now complete. Research agreement with Catherine is now complete, so we'll uh, renew those. Although, I don't know if we would actually, if the game would actually, I don't think the game is going to continue on long enough for another round of research agreements to come into force. Because when I finish the Hubble the Space Telescope here, we'll get two great scientists, which gives us, if I remember right, the equivalent of 16 turns of research. And once we, we have 5,000 faith stockpiled, which we can use to buy great scientists. Now the cost goes up there, so we can maybe buy three of them. I forgot to have been working the specialist slots for these. Oh, we're going to get another great... Oh. Hmm. We're going to get another great engineer there soon. The probably probably would have been better rather than buying the great engineer there to rush the Hubble a little bit faster. Letting the great engineer spawn and using the faith for a great scientist. That's a shame. But yeah, I forgot once we built research labs to actually... No. To assign the scientist specialists. Need to keep doing that. Yeah, everybody's working. Everything's very good. Now, uh, you built an archaeologist. So, I'm not seeing we would spawn our next great scientist. Oh, yeah, it'll be a long time there. Is there anywhere close to? Um, ten turns there. So... Seven turns there. So once we get the great, s okay, that will, yeah, because if we buy, if we buy great scientists with faith, it will increase the cost of buying, uh, not only increase the cost of faith by the next great guys, the cost in points that need to build up to increase the great science. So if we let one spawn from Utrecht, then that would put them up like another hundred. That would be another five turns. Okay, I'm back. Did anything happen, or are you uh, just I'm calculating about? great scientists. Yes, because buying faith does increase the no number of points needed for the next. No, not just buying. Uh, increase the number of points for cities to generate them naturally, as well. Well, that's what I meant. That's uh, buying using faith will increase the number of great people per, uh, points in need. Yeah. So I'm trying to work out when's the most effective time to spend our remaining faith on great scientists, and whether it's worth. Um, so we're getting two from, it's it's eight turns of research from a great scientist, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's eight turns. Uh, I don't suppose you could check, could you, quickly while we're here? Uh, do you have do you have a browser open? Yes, I'm one moment. Bring up the Civ Five wiki and see what the see how much great scientists give you. I can't remember. All, I'm pretty sure it's eight turns. So if we look here, how long it would take us to get to everything. That would be, let's see. So ecology, six turns. Nuclear fission, seven turns. Uh, yeah, on standard, yes. It's the total of, uh, total of the last eight turns of science output. Yeah. Okay. So It's not just your uh, current sound output times eight. It's the sum of the last eight. So if you yeah. just simply boosted, uh, but we, we we have we have all our research labs built, so we're not going to be able to really boost it any further. So um, what I'm just saying, if we look, if we say eight turns for a great science, just for the sake of uh, simplicity in the calculations, yeah, say yep. eight turns, then we bring up the tech tree. Um, okay, so. Yeah, so 13, and then 21, 29, and 38, 46, 51, 7, 64, 
Basically, you probably get uh, any one of these texts you're working on and a little bit more. Yeah, okay, so if we just sit here and tech at our current rate, uh, we'll take 81 turns. Okay, so we have two great scientists coming, which can shave uh, six turns off it. Or not, 16 turns off it. Two great scientists from Hubble. Six. So, and then if we have... So then it's probably best if we let the two great scientists from Utrecht and Rotterdam spawn. Um, but, ra ra but not worth waiting for the one from the next one to spawn from um, uh, Boston. Because by the time, th by the time that these ones spawn, the cost increase in Boston will go up so far it'll be better to just spend our faith on it. Yep. But now it won't. It, we won't be able to cut all the turns out of it, but it'll it'll shave more than half off the remaining amount of time we need to actually get a spaceship going. And again, you can't. Yeah, but we'll, we will still vote for us because because this is this is not this is not world leader votes. So this actually, voting for us, because we come in second place in the world leader vote, we will get more delegates next session. Whoever gets first and second place in world leader votes gets extra delegates in future sessions. Ideology adopted. Freedom! Yay! Welcome to the club. Okay, so there we go. Two free great scientists. And we need to build. Actually, yeah, let's build the Hermitage. Why not? You can keep building archaeologists. You can build build the Apollo program because you have to do that. Uh, that's an important thing to remember. You can't just build the spaceship parts. You have to build the Apollo program project first before you're even allowed to try and build spaceship parts. So, and we have to build that archaeological site over but there. But you're well on your way and you just have to uh, race Hiawatha to space when you've got all these great scientists popping up. So I'm much. pretty sure Hiawatha is going for Diplo. Well, I mean, he got a race in space while he tries to uh, win over the rest of everyone else. Yeah, he's not going to. He went order. Oh, yes. He went order, and we got a world ideology freedom pushed through the World Congress. He's <laughs> that's not happening. So, speaking everyone of which, speaking of which, we we've been we are. Um, snowballing really hard here. Yeah. And I think in the future I may uh, for future LPs. I put I put Emperor on because I know for an absolute fact I can win without too much difficulty or on Emperor and I thought, oh well for the sake of showing off we'll keep the and I think for future LPs we will we will be turning the difficulty up a little bit. Somet sometimes um Maybe you maybe keep it on Emperor if you want to specifically show off early game warfare, because very early game warfare, unless you're Attila, isn't or Assyria, isn't really going to happen on the the highest difficulties, because the AI starts too far ahead. But that's uh, I'm rambling on. <laughs> that's what you do with the Civ LPs, you ramble, because there's not a lot of action on the screen besides. Pretty uh, numbers going up in a graphically uh, pleasing way. Let's see. Build the Manhattan Project in Boston. And let's keep going. Keep on keeping on. Oda still bankrupt. And you can see here. Uh, you were way off here when we discovered satellites, but uh, you can see the entire map. Yay. Finally. 
and you will have revealed all. Looks like you found all the natural wonders, though. So. Mhm. Mm well, uh, no, we hadn't found Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria was oh, okay. right here in the fog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, late game, you get so many notifications, it's easy to miss a few. Yep. Dozen. <laughs> yeah. So actually, you build your hospital there. start seeing if we can grab ones outside of our borders which we probably will have to that's all the ones in our borders uh, no that one's taken that one's outside anybody's borders that one see that one's outside anybody's borders generally that one's just that one's available that one's available you don't generally want to dig up and uh, you don't want to generally dig up archaeological sites from inside other people's borders. You can do it if you have an open borders agreement, but generally you don't want to do it because it gets them really mad. I, I find if they're really happy, you can maybe do it once or maybe twice. Yeah. And it's great because if you're going for a cultural victory, you're stealing from them. You're weakening them. Yep. Yeah. It's, it is, useful, but in this case, since we're not going for a cultural victory... It's yeah, it's only worth it if you're going for a cultural victory. Yeah. Because the way it works out with culture is you want your tourism to beat their culture. <laughs> and if they have a landmark up, that's a giant pile of culture you have to defeat. Or if they have it as a slot in one of their museums. But it's you have to be... Um, sometimes it could occasionally be useful if you're trying to stop somebody else from winning culture. But yeah. Or if you just feel like being a dick. So, uh, Hiawatha took over Antwerp, took one of ours. Bye. And for policy, we will finish patronage. And now, occasionally, allied city-states will grant us great people. But the thing is, that's it's so uh, infrequent. Random. And random. You can't reliably count on it, but it, you can't, it will, every so often, you'll get a really big bonus from City State Allies, which is nice. It's very nice. And every now and then, you'll get uh, the unique great people that other civs get, which is hilarious. Japan adopted autocracy. Oh, oh, oh no. poor Japan. You are not in a situation for that, Oda. You're really not. Also, I love uh, Gowanda there. Uh, Hiawatha's little tiny one island city. Yep. Um, it's, it's got, got oil, oil two control. atolls that will grab that hill. And nothing else. It'll, it would have had the fish, but uh, Rotterdam's borders expanded. Yep, too bad for him. Ethiopia adopted order. Oh. At least the last thing. Why? And Japan, you can see here, they did not settle their cities optimally at all. If you look at Tokyo here, look and where they settled Tokyo. Tokyo. Japan, who gets bonuses from fishing boats. Yeah. They, Tokyo should have been settled right here. It would have been an insane city. Tokyo would have been massive, and Japan... You, Japan would be getting an extra five culture per turn because Japan gets plus one culture from fishing boats and atolls. They Tokyo would be massive. No. Yeah, I'm shaking my fist at the screen. Fucking idiot. Uh, yeah. Why not? That seems like a plan, <laughs> eh? Yep. Uh, that's not worth putting it. That's not worth putting a landmark on because it's empty desert. So oh. we will. This one is a desert hill. That one's worth putting a landmark on. Because it's just a giant. Either way, they would have a giant blobs of a uh, culture. You. Well, uh, no, that's just culture yeah. and production. Yeah, because um, you wouldn't well, you wouldn't want the. You, I know it would be like maybe eight, ten culture here, because we have the bonus from the New Deal and so forth. But 
that zero food and everything, it's better to just put it into one of your museum slots. Now, uh, Rotterdam, as our only coastal city, is the only one eligible to build this. So we'll tell them to go ahead and build the Sydney Opera House. And I will... Um, let's see if we can speed that up a little bit. I will buy a stable there. Oh, one turn. That's not bad. Yep. And then a couple of turns, I'll buy another building. Somebody stole dynamite. Huh, we haven't had anybody stealing from... Um, oh yeah, the dead spy count finally stopped. <laughs> they figured yeah. it out. No, they, 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 the dead spy count stopped. They started succeeding for a while, and then we went and Ryan and actually said, cut that shit out. Yeah. And we haven't had anybody stealing from us in a while. And um, I do have a, a spy form of counter espionage in Amsterdam, so... Anyway, we will vote against embargo city-states. We hopefully have enough votes to stop it. If somebody else votes against Hiawatha, we should uh, see it happening. Um, trade route to get to the Crown Heights. Next turn. Let's see if all our work against no. Desert again. So We will see if all our work against Hiawatha has paid off. Our very expensive work against Hiawatha. Yep. Napoleon has entered the modern era. Welcome to the modern era, Napoleon. And Embargo City States fails. Yes. We did it. And with the discovery of telecommunications, we will end the episode here. So thank you for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time as we continue to send tulips into space.